going on guys welcome back to a, another build video this build video is for the beam lord 2.0 which is a one bar templar pvp build uh, two-handed uh, so let's jump straight into the uh, skills we are using so i've made some adjustments from the previous uh, beam lord uh, build and we'll go through them so we are running a uh, wrecking blow which will give us a uh, major berserk um hit super hard we're running Elusive Mist, as this will give you major expedition. Um, and it's just sort of like a um, buff. You get 300 extra weapon damage as well from the Vampire Passive. So you can press this if you're in trouble or just to get nearer to your enemies, just to charge yourself up. Uh, we're running a Radiant Oppression, which um, when it's fully buffed, you get like a 20k. It says 15k at the moment, but you get a 20k tooltip on this. And when it crits, it hits uh, super, super hard. Uh, we're running Resolving Vigor, uh, which is just a nice heal over time and gives you minor resolve. And Honor the Dead, uh, which is a nice spam heal. And we're running Onslaught. I haven't even got it maxed yet and it's still been doing really well. And this will give you a ton of uh, penetration against your targets. Uh, so let's jump straight into the sets. Uh, so the first set we are running is uh, four pieces of Witch Knight. Uh, I'm running a, a Witch Knight's uh, Battle Axe in Nernhound uh, with a weapon damage enchantment. Uh, the second set I'm running is the uh, new monster set, the Amphimere's Construct set, which um, when you do a heavy attack, it will um, throw an axe at your enemy, dealing a ton of physical damage and also reducing their armor, uh, which is really, really nice. Very, very strong. And if you pick up the axe, it will um, reduce the cooldown by five seconds. Uh, so we're running a, a light piece on this. Uh, Divines, Max Magica. Uh, the next set we're running is uh, my, one of my favourite sets, which is Nyx Hound's Howl set, which again, when you complete a fully charged heavy attack, it just gives you a ton of uh, weapon and spell damage and also gives you major courage and also gives them uh, major cowardice. Yeah. So that drops their weapon damage and increases yours. So this is one of the most stat dense uh, sets for weapon damage. You're going to get over 800 weapon damage for this set alone. I've got it in Divines with Max Magica. Um, I've got the shoulders of um, Amphlia's Construct in Medium, Divines Max Magica. And the rest of the body is uh, Nyx Hound, uh, Medium, Divines Max Magica. And also the boots are just uh, Witch Knight boots, Medium Divines Max Magica. Uh, the neck is Nyx Hounds, Infused Weapon Damage. Witch Knight Ring, Infused Weapon Damage. And Oaken Soul Ring, Infused Weapon Damage. Um, so I've put it all in Divines just to get as much damage as possible. Um, so this build is a little bit on the glass cannony sort of side. But of course, if you want a little bit more survivability, um, you can change all the traits. I would recommend the large pieces to be, um, you could put this as a heavy piece because um, you're not running any heavy pieces. So you can, ideally you'd probably want a heavy piece on the head and uh, a light shoulder and all the rest medium and all the big pieces which is the head, chest and legs have it um, reinforced and impenetrable on all the rest of the pieces and I would also recommend to try stat if you can I haven't done it on this build as it is quite expensive um, so if you want your bars a little bit bigger try and try stat all the pieces or if you can't afford it as well you can just try stat the big pieces as that is where you'll get the most benefit uh, which is the head chest and legs I'd keep the jewelry as it is just to so you've got as much damage as possible so this build is going to get you, let's see the stats quickly. So you've got nearly 7,300 spell damage unbuffed. 
Um, this goes up to 9k spell damage and the penetration will go up to about uh, nearly 30k. Um, you're going to get 26k from the uh, proc in the ultimate and then you're going to get another 3k on top from the monster set. So you're going to be nearly at 30k penetration. Uh, your health is at 28 and a half, which is okay. Um, the max magic is good, um, but the stamina is a little bit on the low side, so you can adjust accordingly. Um, but I still find it okay as we are heavy attacking quite a lot, so you do return quite a resources. And if we pop a potion, um, your magic and stamina curry is nearly at 1700 anyway, which is enough for me on a one bar build. You don't need tons of recovery on a one bar build as you're pressing fewer skills um, but like I said you could could chuck on a stamina recovery glyph if you need to um, but I, I'm like the way it is I just think if you try to stat all the armor um, and obviously if you gold it out as well be even better and just try and get the magic and the stamina to around the 19k mark is what you want to be doing and just keep the health around the 30k mark that's sort of what you want to be aiming towards but it's fine as it is if you want to run it as it is um, so we'll just show you the resistances. The resistances are 25k spell and 22.5 physical resist. Uh, so I said you might be slightly on the squishy side, but this is just this, purely how I've done it. It's just maximizing damage as much as possible. But like I said, if you've got the reinforced pieces and impenetrable, um, you could easily make this a whole lot better. Um, but I've just gone in for raw damage. I mean, it's at 9k spell damage. If you had it 8.5k spell damage with more resistance, that will probably work a little bit better just to make you a bit more tanky. Um, but I'll show you a couple of things um, when I go through how to play it um, just to make you a bit more survivable. Uh, so the crit is quite high as well. So at 34% plus to 50, so you're at 84% crit damage. So like I said with a 20k tooltip on the beam, you are going to be hitting very, very hard. Um, I'm also running as a Breton race as well, so I'm getting 9k spell damage as a Breton. So if you run the damage race, you know, you could easily invest into other things. So if I was an Orc <coughs> or a high damage race, you're probably going to get to like nearly 9.5k spell damage, so you could easily chuck on a stamina recovery glyph. So just adjust your build accordingly to what race you are. But I'm running a Breton on this, and the Breton reduces a lot of my... Um, abilities so i'm getting extra max magicka i'm getting spell resistance and magical recovery and also reduces the cost of my magicka ability so you can spam heals quite a lot and the vampire and um, blood mist or elusive mist um, so that's very very nice there and also radiant oppression you can press quite a lot as well but like i said yeah if you're a damage race just adjust accordingly just try and get to that 9k spell damage but getting that on a sustained race is very very strong um also, I've been running Jewels of Misrule, but ideally Smoke Bear Haunch, it's going to give you slightly better stats. But if you can't afford it, just run Jewels. I've only been running Jewels and I've been doing absolutely fine. But you can push it a bit further with the Smoked Bear Haunch. Make sure you're a vampire, of course, for the Undeath passive. And I'm running the Apprentice Mundus for, um, for extra spell damage. But like I said, if you're over 9k already because you're a damage race, you could chuck on a Recovery Mundus or the Lady Mundus is what I would recommend. Uh, so right, so, let's go into the champions as well. Again, this is sort of how preference, how you want it. I've just got Master at Arms, Deadly Aim, and Resilience, and Untamed Aggression. Um, but again, you can play with these how you want. Uh, the Red CP, I've got uh, Pain's Refuge, a rejuvenation, fortified and boundless vitality because I said your health might be on the low side so just keep your eye on the health but just adjust accordingly like I said to what race or area you have right so let's go into how you sort of play it so you don't need 500 ult straight off the bat that's just because I've used this and the ethereal well but um, you're ready to pretty much go into fight once you have the Onslaught ultimate, which is only 155. It's a cheap ultimate, it's very easy to get, and then you're going to be ready for max stats. So what you would do is, you would buff your Vigor just to buff yourself, and you'd come in with the Elusive Miss, which is going to give you that 300 extra weapon damage, heavy attack into ultimate, and then Wrecking Blow, and then spam your Radiant Oppression. 
that's going to do a absolute ton of damage you're going to get 30k pen like i said your weapon damage your spell damage is going to hit nearly 9k so you're going to hit very very hard your beams are going to hit very very hard you just make sure you want to kill the player within that short window of five seconds where you're going to get that maximum penetration sometimes um, you're hitting so hard when you do the heavy attack and the ult it might actually be enough to kill them outright especially if you get a crit i said the crit isn't super high but again you can adjust accordingly you could run uh, precise on the battle axe um, but when it does crit um, it will hit super super hard it, well it hits even hard without the crit to be fair um, like I said you've got two heals so you've got the vigor and you've also got your spam heal and like I said if you're in the middle of things what I do is like I said because you're not particularly tanky this is just going for raw damage so it is a bit on the glass cannony side but if you make them a chain them adjustments I said you can definitely make it a bit tankier and like I said um, if you're in trouble I use the mist quite often it works very very well I've been against, I've been against some really good players and they really struggle to catch you so if you drop the ult and you're in a bit of a pickle it's not gone in your favour you can just heal yourself and just mist away and you've got the major expedition you're going to move very very quickly and people just give up chasing you come back until you've got your ult again because without the ultimate um, like I said you won't have a lot of pen you still hit fairly hard but obviously you want the you want the ultimate so it's gonna you're gonna throw a hard heavy attack it's gonna buff all your damage with the nick's hand it's gonna activate the monster set you're gonna throw an axe that does a ton of damage you're hitting them with the onslaught hitting with a wrecking blow and that's gonna proc your major berserk and then just beam away um so that's pretty much the build covered guys it's uh yeah like i said it's really fun it hits super hard like i said the um sustain is okay for me i don't really have a problem with it but like I said you can, they're at nearly 1700, um, which I think is enough. You could push it to chuck on a recovery glyph, it's up to you. But I like it how it is, but maybe I'd recommend, like I said, the tri stats on the armour, uh, impenetrable and reinforced on the body pieces as well. And like I said, you could just change the Mundus if you just want a simple change. Um, it's a nice, simple one bar build and I said the beam just hits ridiculously hard you get a 20k tool tip on it it's really going to hit hard and I said it's got massive range as well so you can kill quite a lot of players definitely a lot of fun so I hope you enjoyed the build video guys I think I fully covered everything enjoy the clips after this and I'll see you in the next video
Get the point!